Good day and thank you for joining us in another MYOB advanced training video. In this training video we will have a closer look at issues, transfers and adjustments. Let's start off with issues. Issues are used to record the withdrawal of some quantity of stock items from the inventory. You decrease your stock quantities by creating and releasing an inventory issue. Usually a decrease in stock levels happens when sales orders, credit memos, debit memos and kit assembly documents are released. In your MYOB advanced system, navigate to Inventory, Transactions and click on Issues. Click on the Add New Record that will navigate you to the Issues form. On the form, make sure to enter the correct dates. On the Transaction Details tab, click on Add a New Row. Select your inventory item, the warehouse from which the inventory is issued, the location from which the item is issued, and the quantity. After you have completed the fields, click on Release on the Form toolbar. Once the form has been released, click on the Inventory Hyperlink. This will navigate you to the stock record. On the Inquiries drop-down list on the Form toolbar, select Transaction Details. The release of the issue has reduced the level of stock as shown here. Next we will look at Transfers. Transfers are used to record the movement of stock items between locations within a warehouse or between warehouses. In MYOB Advanced, you can use two types of transfers. You have the one-step transfer, which is the transfer between different warehouses in one step. Or the two-step transfer. This is the transfer between different warehouses in two steps. Two-step transfers are used where warehouses are located some distance from each other. So there is a delay between shipping and receiving the inventory. In your MYOB Advanced System, navigate to Inventory, Transactions and click on Transfers. Click on the Add New Record icon that will navigate you to the Transfers form. On this form, select the warehouse from which the goods are transferred. Select the warehouse to which the goods are transferred to and enter your reference and description. In this scenario, I will use the one-step transfer tab. Select your date and on the Transaction Details tab, click on Add a new row. Select your inventory item to be transferred. The warehouse location from which the goods are transferred. The location to where the goods are being transferred to. And the quantity. Once you have completed the transaction details, release your transfer. If you click on the image or hyperlink and navigate to the warehouse details tab, you will notice that both the warehouses have been updated when the transfer was released. Now let's have a look at adjustments. From time to time, you may find or lose stock in your warehouse. To update the stock levels to have the correct quantities, an inventory adjustment can be entered. You can also update cost for items with standard cost and other valuation methods through adjustments. In your MYOB Advanced System, navigate to Inventory, Transactions and click on Adjustments. Click on the Add New Record icon that will navigate you to the Adjustments form. On the form, complete your reference number, your description and select your date. On the Transaction Details tab, click on Add a New Row. Select your inventory item, your warehouse for this item 
and the location in this warehouse. Enter the quantity of the inventory item for adjustment. Once you have completed the field, click on release to release your adjustment. If you click on the imager hyperlink and navigate to the warehouse details tab, you will notice that the quantity on hand has been updated. This concludes our training video on issues, transfers and adjustments. Please let us know with your feedback and please join us again for more as we explore MYOB Advanced through our training videos. Thank you for watching.